Welcome to Hydropool's Aquatic Prenatal Fitness Program. I am so honored to share this compilation of workouts that will take you throughout your pregnancy. Each workout is specific to a trimester. However, if you are just joining us in your second or third trimester, we suggest going back to the beginning and completing as many of the movements as possible to get your body accustomed to the water. Aquatic fitness is a great way to exercise and keep moving while your body is experiencing many changes. The buoyancy of the water supports the relief of sore muscles and joints, and the pressure of the water can help relieve swelling in your extremities. Please note, you should always consult your doctor or medical professional before starting any exercise program. Also, throughout these workouts, we want to encourage you to listen to your body and adjust your movements to suit your individual preference. It's important that at no point throughout these workouts should your heart rate increase to over 140 beats per minute. Our goal is to provide you with an opportunity to move your body in a safe way while maintaining your balance, strength, and flexibility. Here we are in your third trimester and the final video in this series. Our mantra for these workouts is going to be gentle and slow. We're gonna focus on keeping the body moving, but gently. Your body is producing extra amounts of the hormone relaxin right now, which is making our ligaments ultra limber. This means not a lot of jumping around, and instead, we're gonna focus on pain-free movement and range of motion in the hips, glutes, and lower back. We will continually come to the breath, preparing the body for labor and your postpartum recovery. So for our third trimester workout, we're gonna focus on going nice and slow and really gentle movements. So as we get ready, we're gonna take a couple moments and ground ourselves. So your feet are anywhere from shoulder to hip width apart. Just give your shoulders and knees a little shake. Feel the water. Ground down into the swim spa floor with your feet. Squeeze your glutes and start to tighten up the abs. And again, yes, they've moved out to the sides, but they're still there. Relax the shoulders. We're gonna do a little bit of rounding of the back and opening of the chest. So just bringing some mobility into the shoulders with our breath. So we're gonna take a nice big inhale, open up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades, take your gaze to the sky. And as you exhale, you're gonna round the back and tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, open up the chest, Exhale, round the back, tuck your chin, maybe press your hips back a little bit behind you. Okay, a few more. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round the back. As you breathe in, focus on harnessing what it is that you need in this moment today. And as you exhale, let go of any thoughts or emotions or feelings that just aren't serving you. Inhaling, opening up, asking for what you need. Exhaling, round the back, letting all your fears and worries go. Good, we'll find a nice standing set position again. Good, take your hands to your hips, take your feet a little bit wider, and start to add some mobility to the hips here. So we're gonna press them out to the left, press the hips forward, over to the right, and then back. So full around the world circle, press the hips forward, to the right, backwards. Okay, so three big hip circles going clockwise. Good, come back to center. Then press your hips to the right, then forward. We're gonna go counterclockwise, three circles. Notice how it feels a little bit different on this side. Just acknowledge it. Don't worry about it. As long as you don't feel any sharp pain or discomfort, keep going. That should feel like a nice release in the lower back. All right, so from here, we're gonna take our body weight into our right leg. Balance may be very challenging by this point. And we're just gonna pulse the leg out in front of us, making circles with the foot. Good, and then we're gonna bring it out to the side as much as you're comfortable with. If you need to hold on to a noodle or the side of the swim spa, do it. 
We're gonna pulse wide here. Okay, and so starting to feel a nice opening in the hips. Good, and then we're gonna kick that leg straight back. Try to keep the chest up as much as you can and just pulse up towards the sky. So be careful that you don't overdo it here. Again, we've got a lot of relaxing uh, hormone in our ligaments here that are really starting to allow extra movement in the pelvic area. So just pulsing the hips gently up to the sky for a couple more. Good, and then come on back to standing, shake it out. All right, let's take the body weight into the left foot. We're gonna extend that right foot forward, making some circles here with the right foot in both directions. Just adding a little bit of mobility to the ankles. Good, and then we're gonna take that leg wide. Again, you're gonna have to feel a little bit of that core engagement. Hold the noodle, hold the swim spot if you feel the need to. And then again, just pulsing back and forth. Feeling a little bit of an opening here in the hips on the right side. Good, and for our final movement here, we're gonna extend that right foot back. Good, toes will point towards the swim spot floor. We're gonna press that heel up towards the sky. So hinge at the hips as much as you need to. And just gently and slowly pulse that heel up for a couple more. Good, okay. Let's bring the shoulders under the water and the legs wide. So we're gonna bring the shoulders under the water, the feet are flat on the floor, wider than shoulder width. I'm gonna bring the hands together in front of you. Now make sure that the shoulders aren't coming up towards the ears here, keep them nice and relaxed. And we're just gonna twist our arms to one side and then over to the other. So most of the rotation here is happening in the shoulders. Little bit of rotation in the torso, but not much. Using the resistance of the water to warm up through the shoulders. Starting to add some movement. Two more. Great job. Okay, we're all warmed up. I'd like to do one more exercise of pelvic floor breathing before we start to add in our strength and cardio. So I'm just gonna grab the noodle. So depending on where you're at and where you're feeling, I'd really like this to be a nice, slow, easy movement that allows you the opportunity to just connect your body with your breath. Again, our goal is keeping in mind, preparing for a successful, smooth labor and recovery. So our feet are nice and wide and we're gonna move the breath and remember that feeling of squeezing the muscles in the pelvic floor, almost like holding a pee. Okay, so we're gonna inhale, squeeze. Good, exhale, come on up to standing. Inhale, come on down as you squeeze. Good, exhale, come on up to standing. Beautiful, and again, hopefully you've been working on these exercises throughout your pregnancy. But it's never too late to start if you haven't. Notice if there's any tension in the neck, shoulders, and jaw. And acknowledge any feelings or fears that may be coming up for you. Acknowledge them, but let them pass. You are ready. All right, as we start to increase the intensity of our movements a little bit, we are gonna still hold on to the noodle but I'd like you to bring your ankles together and keep the toes wide. So this is gonna feel a little bit like a ballet or what is commonly known as a bar exercise. So we're gonna keep the ankles together and the feet wide, and we're just gonna bend in through the knees as much as comfortable for you. Again, if the ankles being together is too much, you can always open up the, uh, the feet a little bit. And then again, just lowering the shoulders under the water and then coming back to standing. 
You'll notice again that we're really having to keep the core engaged here, squeezing the glutes, lifting the kneecaps when you come up to standing, that will engage the quads. So inhale down, exhale up. Good. Stay here for a few more breaths. No tension. Gentle and slow. Great, so let's shake out the legs. Okay, staying um, with the noodle, we're gonna bring the feet so that they are parallel to the edges of the swim spa floor. I'm gonna do a squat to a side leg raise. So in our squat, we're gonna go heavy on the heels, shoulders are gonna come under the water, and then we're gonna lift up and lift one leg out to the side. We're gonna alternate. Come back down into your squat, lift and raise. Come down into your squat, lift and raise. Inhale down, exhale, come on up. Great. Now bringing the feet a little bit closer together, we're gonna lift up through the heels, pressing the toes into the floor. And you're gonna feel this in your calves pretty quickly. Good, imagine you're spreading your toes nice and wide so you get all the surface area on the swim spa floor. Keeping the shoulders right up over the hips. Good, notice if there's any tension in the jaw, the shoulders, the neck. Try to relax. Good, and if you feel like you're rocking back and forth, Try to slow it down so it's more of a slow, controlled lift up and a slow, controlled lift down. Great. Let's turn sideways so we can use the full width of the swim spa. Holding onto the noodle is totally optional, but I want to give you the opportunity, keeping in mind that we are going gentle and slow. So we're going to take the legs as wide as we can. And we're just gonna gently bend into one knee, bringing the shoulders under the surface of the water, coming back to center, and then switching sides. So you might find after doing a couple that you can take your legs even wider than you thought. Bringing the knees again, bending, back to standing, bending into the other side. So hands are extended out in front of you if you are using the noodle, but if you're not using the noodle, you can just hold on to your hips. Good. Notice the difference when we let go of the noodle, how much less stable it is. So I really want you to think about just being stable, allowing the opportunity for the knees to bend, open into the hips, press the heel into the floor to come on back to standing. Good, before you go into the other side. Great. And just making sure we're not rolling over our ankles. If you start to feel that way, just imagine you're pressing your big toe into the floor. That will help you find your balance. more. Okay, so we are going to start to bring the heart rate up a little bit. I'm going to place the noodle to the side here. I'm going to do a little bit of cardio work. So just starting with the hands out of the water and the feet about shoulder width. We're going to step out to the side and reach overhead so we feel that nice stretch in the side body before switching sides. So just allowing the opportunity for the heart rate to come up with gentle and slow movement. So it's a step out and reach. Step out and reach. If you're feeling like you can do a little more, feel free to add a little hop. That's okay, it's up to you, but don't push yourself. Good, now let's start to take the hands across the body so we square the shoulders to the side of the swim spot and then switch sides. So we're going across the body now, giving yourself that opportunity to twist ever so slightly. Good, last three. 
Beautiful. Okay, let's bring the shoulders again down under the water. We're gonna use the width of the swim spa here and the resistance of the water to make things a little bit tougher. So we're gonna hold the hands at the chest. Sculling is up to you if you wanna scull. You're just gonna shuffle side to side. Maybe take three or four steps in one direction before coming back and taking three or four steps in the other direction. Good, so you're starting to fire up through your glutes. Core is engaged, using the resistance of the water. Beautiful, keeping the shoulders and hands below the surface. We'll do one more lap. If you wanna pick up the pace, it's up to you. Remember, it's all about going gentle and slow. Great. So we're gonna bring the noodle back into play now. We've elevated the heart rate a little bit. This one should feel slightly challenging, but should also feel really great with the buoyancy of the water making us feel weightless. So leaning back into the noodle, we're gonna extend the legs out straight. Pointing or flexing the toes, whatever feels good to you, we're just gonna gently scissor the legs up and down. Try to relax the head, the neck, the shoulders. And if you want to increase the pace, go for it. But again, they're just gentle scissors. Almost like a flutter kick, but a little less bend in the knee. Okay, and then from here, I want you to think about flexing the feet, taking the legs wide, crossing them over, taking them wide, crossing them over in the other direction. So we'll go left over right, right over left. Good, we'll do a couple rounds of each here. Crossing over and under, and then going back into our scissor. So up and down. back to the over and under. Good, try to keep the hips up. Not uncommon for them to sink a little bit, so try to keep the hips up. That'll force the glutes to stay engaged. Last one, little flutter. Good, now back to over under. Staying with our core work. So, so important this time to keep the core strong and engaged and firing. We'll put the noodle away and use the wall. So we're gonna come to the edge of the swim spa to come down into our chair. So shoulders, lower back, hips are all pressing against the swim spa. Bend the knees so that hopefully we get the legs to about 90 degrees. Again, sculling will help you keep your balance here. If you want an extra challenge, take your hands to your hips. So we're just gonna gently lift one foot and then the other. Notice what happens. We wanna kinda shift with the hips. In order to keep the core engaged, you wanna press the lower back and the hips against the swim spa wall as we lift and lower. Okay, so it's really not that challenging to lift and lower, but when you consider keeping your hips and your lower back pressed into the swim spa wall, then you start to fire up through your core. So coming back to your breath, keeping the feet flexed, lifting one foot at a time. Lift and lower. Good, that lower back is really pressing into the wall of the swim spa. more. Great. All right, staying exactly here in this position, 
We're gonna press our toes into the floor and lift up through the heels. So the same way we warmed up with our calf raise, it's the exact same movement, except the hips stay pressed into the wall. So you're gonna lift up the heels and then press them down. Lift up the heels, press them down, good. So shoulders stay right where they are, heels lift up and press down. Heels lift up and press down. Good, a few more here, up and down. So you're lengthening and shortening through the muscles in our calves. Good, a couple more. Great job, let's find our feet nice and wide now. Okay, we're gonna bring the arms wide and keep the palms together. So pressing the shoulder blades into the swim spa wall, we're gonna bring the palms together and then knuckles come back to the wall. So palms come together, knuckles come back to the wall. Good. Inhale, bring the hands together. Exhale, wide, open up that chest, stretch. Inhale, bring them together. Exhale, wide, good. Notice what's happening with the connection between your lower back and the swim spa wall. Stay there, hold it here, another three. Good, last one. And done, great job. So coming into our final few movements of our third trimester workout, we're gonna start by bringing one knee up. So take your body weight into your left foot, bring one knee up in line with the hip. Now, likely we've got a belly in the way. So imagine you're starting to bring that knee back towards the back of the swim spa to make some space. Maybe this is where you'll stay. If you're feeling like you have some movement there, I want you to just gently lift the knee up as if maybe you're gonna tuck it under the elbow. Good, keep both feet flexed, standing up nice and tall, good. If it would feel more comfortable to grab onto the noodle or hold onto the side of the swim spa, go for it. Relax, breathe, great job, okay. Let's come into your right foot, lift the left knee up. So again, slow and gentle. Grab onto the knee with your left hand. Think about taking it wide so you're finding that opening in the hip first. Then and only then, if you're ready, gently start to lift it up as if it's coming underneath your armpit. Good. Notice the sensations that are coming up for you right now. Acknowledge them. You have worked so hard throughout your pregnancy. You should feel proud of all the work that you've done and know that you are ready. All right, let's release through the legs. Check them out a little bit, allow some of that blood flow to come back to the hips. I'm gonna grab onto opposite shoulder blades. Okay, so this is really as far as I can go at this point. We wanna lift the elbows up as high as we can. Think about dropping your chin to your chest and lifting the elbows high. So we're gonna drop the chin to your chest and lift the elbows high. Inhale, elbows up. Good, exhale, lower them down. Good, inhale, lift them up. Exhale, lower them down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Last one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Release the hands. Good. Let's bend into the knees quite a bit. One last breath together. Reach the arms up. Bring the palms together and then your hands to heart center. Great workout, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me and participating in HydroPool's aquatic prenatal program. 
It has been our pleasure to support you throughout this journey, and we look forward to being a part of your growing family. If you haven't already done so, check out the other great workouts in our exercise library, including our cross-training and box fit programs.